What is up, everybody? Griff here. Thanks so much for joining me again. Today, I'm going to show you this animation I just made, and I'm really excited to get this out there in front of you. I am going to talk about just a few little things here and there. I can't help myself. We're going to talk just a little bit about story, and we are going to look at this piece of software that I ran across just when I needed it. It was like absolutely perfect timing. All right, so let's let's just roll the intro. I'm going to get right into this. Okay, enough of that. Let's just dive right into this. I gotta, I gotta talk to you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move a little bit closer. Okay, so my youngest daughter, she is, a, she's the performer of the house, man. She loves to sing and act. It's like, it's always eyes on her. Uh, you know, I love that about her. My daughter has been telling stories and singing songs for as long as I can remember, and she came to me one day with this whole song written down on a piece of paper and she just really wanted me to get this story out to you i'm not real big on like letting you know a seven-year-old be on youtube just yet i guess my biggest worry is just that like the criticism or whatever that entails could could get her down so i needed an idea i needed to get her on the screen without having to show her face and sort of like risk all that embarrassment and I'm digging around, digging around, and I'm thinking, okay, I got, I got 3D models, I've rigged up this face, maybe I could use, like, face effects, which is, like, this, um, this automatic lip sync tool for uh, 3D applications. And that didn't really work out for me as well as I thought. And so I went to uh, Face Rig, you can pick that up on Steam, and there's even this cool, like, 2D plugin that lets you do 2D uh, stuff using, using Face Rig. And I thought, well, that might be an option. That got kind of hard, kind of fast, to be honest with you. Still really cool. I want to try it in the future. And then I put it down for a while and uh, just started diving back into like some of the Adobe stuff I left behind years ago. I was checking out Photoshop and After Effects. I came across this, like I was looking for the old Flash, like which is now Adobe Animate. But then I saw this Adobe Character Animator and I installed that first. And so I popped this thing open, right? Uh, let, let me just show you. Yes. So this is Adobe Character Animator right here. And when I opened this up, I noticed that this uh, video camera button was pressed down. And I'm not going to press it right now because I'm capturing video and I'm, I might mess it up. But uh, then I see my face and it's got these little points on it. And it's actually capturing uh, my facial expressions to this puppet that's sitting on the stage. I'm like, what? Actually, here, I was right here. I went through this interactive tutorial right here. Yes, so I open this up, and all this starts happening. This, this, this starter project here, and this dude's moving around, and they start talking. And as we get through this thing, we uh, find out that you can actually control these characters using your web camera. And then uh, it gets into, like, draggables and all these other really cool things you can do to animate characters that look just like this. So yeah, my mind was blown. I'm like, this is absolutely perfect. This is exactly the thing I was looking for. I wanted to be able to record my kids when they came up with these ideas and they wanted to get them out to all of you to watch, but I didn't want to put their faces on the screen right now. And so I'm like, well, this is perfect, man. This even aligns with what I'm trying to do with this channel, which is to create like artistic animated content that, uh, that I could share with everybody. I mean, this was just perfect. So... What I did is I had, I had my youngest daughter sit down and she recorded her song and she broke into this like story uh, that surrounded like what the song was about. And this was, <laughs> this was like the best part. And I, that's another topic for another video. I really want to sit down and talk with all of you about like story as well. So she recorded this entire story and then I, I ran it through this Adobe character animator thing and... Uh, Oh, I, I'm just gonna let you watch it right now, all right? And then I'll I'll be back afterwards. Hello, my name is Kara, and I'm going to do my favorite song called "You Broke My Heart." You left me behind in a rich fight. You made me cry. Oh. You push me down, but I get up, oh, you make me sad, but it's okay, but you broke my heart at night, oh, and it can't get me down again, you can't 
You can't make me so, yeah. You can't break my heart again. I lost you forever, yeah. I'm now against you all. I see you come running back and you want to be my friend. Well, no! You broke my own heart. And now I'll break your heart. You broke my heart a thousand times. Oh, 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 oh. Broke my heart was about me. And I, I actually, somebody actually did break my heart in real life. He was my best and closest friend. And he just one day said, no, he's not my friend anymore. He's my worst enemy now. He broke my heart. And he did actually make me cry. And I did lose him forever. And guess what? He had no other friends. He was then a bully. Then a bully. And then he wanted to be my friend again because I had all the friends then. And I said no. He broke my heart, so I just broke his. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I really hope you love it. Oh, and one more thing. I forgot about this, but hug. All right, pretty cool, right? This was relatively easy to get started with, as long as you have like, I think it's, well, it depends. You can pay $20 and get one piece of Adobe software on a uh, subscription basis. Or if you want to shell out 60 bucks, you just get everything. And that's what I did. Once you get all this installed, if you come here, you can see all these starter projects in Adobe Character Animator. And one of them was, was Chloe. And you could open this character up. And it's already like fully set up with all the cool stuff that I was talking about. It'll do lip sync. You have these draggable handles so you can come through here. And you can drag these around and mess around with that. And so what I did is I opened this. this is a, there's a Photoshop file that goes along with this. And you can open it up. Let me just show you that too. Just real quick. So this Photoshop file contains all of these layers for like her sleeves and her arms and different hands and different mouths and all these things. And what I did is I just came in here. I just came in here and I looked at all these different layers. And so I thought, okay, well, instead of trying to sort out all these names and get everything right, I'm just going to go ahead. And I, I went up here and um, I made my canvas size just twice as wide. So if it was like 11 inches, I made it 22 inches. That spread this whole thing out. I grabbed Chloe here and boom, I just moved her over to the side. And then I went through here layer by layer, drawing my own character. When I was done, I just came over and I grabbed all the Chloe stuff. I deleted that out of my scene. And then I went and uh, I, I shrunk my canvas back down to that, 11, to that original like 11.11 .11 inches. And I took my new character and I just moved it over into the center of the scene here. All right, and let me just show you that real quick. Yeah, here's my, here's my Chloe. This is, this is a representation of my seven-year-old girl. And she's got all that same stuff. She's got all the draggables and everything all hooked up in here. So I can just go through. And I always turn one on. Here's a hand dragger. She can drag these around. And uh, that's what I did. I just, I taught myself how to use this program, basically, go into a, uh, okay samurai uh, and watching tutorial videos and figuring all that out and i came in here with my easily made puppet and just started playing around until i got an idea of of what i was doing now i'm by no means a master but i have put in several hours at this point and i was able to get out that animation that i was just showing you and then for some of the background stuff like the squirrel you saw i used photoshop i used adobe animate and then I took that same, then I took the squirrel and I set it up like a Adobe character animator file like this and just acted out a little bit of like reaction to the squirrel watching, watching the story and song unfold. So that's really about it. I'm going to take You Broke My Heart and I'm going to publish that as a separate video in case you wanted to watch it a few more times or share it around. And I will be back most definitely to, well, first of all, do more projects in Character Animator because I think it's really cool and just a nice tool to add to the storytelling arsenal. 
I will be back later to talk to you about how I created this whole thing. We're gonna go through like the whole story process. Uh, we're gonna talk about like capturing the audio and how I process that audio, uh, the compositing phase, just every, every part of it that I can think about. And I'm gonna share that with you. And hopefully that'll help you get your own projects uh, up and running. And listen, again, I really appreciate your support. I appreciate you showing up here. Uh, tell me down in the comments like what parts of this process you'd like to know more about. I'm doing this because I want to see you make something cool and I would really love it if you shared that cool thing with me once you made it. So if there's some part of this process that you're most interested in, just leave that down in the comments. And again, I appreciate all the support you've been showing. Thanks for showing up to watch these videos. Uh, please hit that subscribe button somewhere down there and I think there's a bell or something. And you can like the video and do all those wondrous things. I really appreciate you helping me get this content out there. All right, until next time, thanks everybody for watching. See ya.